The Raven's Flock presents The Black Box. Welcome, sit back, relax, crack open a cold one if that's how you're feeling, turn up your audio uh, device over here, turn up your computer, your phone, your tablet, and sit back and you're about to listen to another episode of The Black Files. Yeah! Hey. Wow, no energy guys, I get it, it's Monday, it's <laughs> June 13th, everybody's dead tired from work. Or Extra mellow with this show. I'll give you one applause. Fucker. That applause, nice kills, that applause killed like 50 mosquitoes. I yeah. know, right? Well, at least it accomplished something. Yeah. Hello, everybody. You know us. We're the Raven's Flock. Here's your host, Juan Arouse. We've got Jose Casbona and Angel Mendez. Yo! Uh, yo. And, How's it going? And, it was good, uh, man. And it looks like we're going to be, uh, we're gonna be uh, having a quick little uh, sit-down review on this year's Megacon. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Just so the audience uh, doesn't misunderstand. This is a recap of our Saturday experience, not a review. Of the entire movie, yes. Well, well we've... it's a Saturday review. Right? It's a Saturday recap. So please <laughs> do not compare your experiences to our experiences, because that's like comparing the hangover to the bender you got into last Sunday. Yeah, Let's keep it separate, shall we? <laughs> yeah, not exactly. Uh, and of course, as everyone knows, uh, the opinions expressed on the Black Files are solely those of uh, the participants themselves, and not necessarily those of any uh, group association, company, uh, freaking Tostito chip that you buy, doesn't fucking matter. So, if you're not pleased with our opinions, well, it's just like a nose. Everybody has one except for Voldemort. Yeah, Anyway, uh, unfortunately, I missed out personally on the experience of the Mega Connings in Orlando. Uh, yeah, I had some family business over here, but you boys got to uh, represent the flock. You got to represent yeah. us. Yeah. Um, and there were other flockers there with us as well, or rather they were in attendance. Who else was there? Um, Damus and Pixeldoll were at Megacon for the whole weekend. Yeah, they were running all over the place with the fancy suits and swords and such. Indeed. Um, uh, Damus, yeah, Damus went around with, uh, their group, their anime group of Hawaiian and Seraph on Saturday. As for Pixeldoll, um, she was in, she, I think she was in cosplay, yeah. She was cosplaying as Pearl from Steven Universe. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was cosplaying Pearl. Cool. She was cool. I didn't even realize she had that. Oh yeah, the pictures are on uh, are available on the uh, Anna Rage uh, Facebook page. Oh, so very nice. And um, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, she also cosplayed as Mira from the DC comic verse. Which one? The love interest to Aquaman. Oh, oh Queen uh, Mira. Queen Mira. Yeah. Yeah, she was there for the big DC. Remember the, the, that time she got her head cut off? Oh, oh. dude. No way to get ahead in life. Dude, that's taking a little too well, much. Well, to Pixadol, I would like to say I top my hat off or head off to you. Wow. <laughs> See? Wow. We're not offended by pawns. We're sticking our own necks out here. That's <laughs> also, you guys, if you guys I... make me sick. How dare you? Yes, we did. What's the block with you people? So actually getting to the con was surprisingly easy, if only because we made the smart decision of leaving early. Oh, yeah. For once traffic was... Oh, oh yeah, no, I got to tell you this lovely part, though. On the way there, though. Mm -hmm. So we're about to arrive to the place. We're like, yeah, we're like 10 minutes away. And there a car accident happens. And then we get past what? that, and then another car accident happens. And we get through like four different car accidents before we get even close to the car. And then another car accident. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> thankfully, no. We didn't go for locking number five because we, it was already enough for a pain in the ass to find a parking space. But, but thankfully, we're going to have to. Please don't. <laughs> Joe, please do not burminate your balls. Joseph, I, as much as... Uh, as much uh, shock value and as many uh, view counts as we get from watching you being physically injured for comedy's sake, Bang. it doesn't work on a podcast. It doesn't work when I you know. don't hear it. I you know. know. All they can hear is my agony. It's not Ooh, the and, the, and the sizzling sound of boiling testicles. It's not the same as watching me on camera with Angel whipping me in the back. Well, you man, a picture is worth <laughs> a thousand sound clips, or so I heard someone on the internet. <laughs> yeah, well, but anyways, um, I... Back to the story, digressing. Sorry, so yeah, actually getting to the con was surprisingly easy. Once again, pounding in the idea of, guys, be prepared for this shit. Leave early if you can. There was traffic. your ass if you don't. There was traffic heading over there from Tampa and Orlando, but that's to be expected because it's a Saturday. Because not only are you going to Orlando for a con, but some people like to go for Disney. Yeah, no, go figure. Oh, yeah. gee, I wonder. Or I wonder Universal what... Studios. You or, mean whatever World. Kind of, or whatever Disney kind World. of... Crazy family getaway they want to go to in Orlando. 
Because there's something strange about the drive from here to Orlando that no matter how many times I do it, it never gets any shorter and it never gets any longer. It just seems to be this static chunk of distance I know. in my mind. I know. It's so weird. But it, it always feels weirder actually driving back from Orlando. Yeah. It feels shorter, you know what I mean? Or is that just me? No, no, uh, that's just the, the desperate need to escape from Orlando that just makes your car literally go faster. Yeah, pretty probably, much. Probably. Um, and after we got over there, uh, that, we made it. To, yeah. I was actually going to say, like, when you got actually got to Megacon, even though there was the there was very little actual traffic getting over there, you guys had a gigantic traffic jam inside the convention itself, too, didn't you? I'll take it from here. Yes, by all means. When we when we when we reached to, when we got to the main building of the Tampa Convention Center, they immediately told us to walk a mile over to the other area of the building. Just to get our, just to register for our. Which area passes. is this? Which, which I believe it's on the east side, like the entire north side where the building was previously. Like the last time we went to the con, it was back to the brim, right? Yes. When we walked in here the last time, empty, and they had to guide us to the other side of the place. So basically, on the eastern eastern side of the building, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's where they moved the entire con. Well, hey, oh, I'm not complaining. Shit. Are you serious? I'm not complaining. Half the time we were walking a mile, we were riding on those freaking conveyor oh, yeah. belts. They had, they had this this like Jetson style like conveyor belt walk thing I'm above. You just, do, kinda, do, do, do. just sit there and just be, <laughs> just act like the rich people. Too important to. And I'm see. looking at everyone else walking through the belts. I'm like, what's your rush? What are it's you gonna doing? take us there. Even if you hurry yourself over there, you're still gonna end up waiting at the big yeah, line. Yeah, if you're walking on a conveyor belt, you'll get there faster. Don't you know that? Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, it feels like the driver that speeds up in front of you so he can get to the red light sooner. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oh, God. But anyway, okay, conveyor belts aside. So we walked a mile to the main con. Then we only only to wait in line. The line was uh, what, the line was relatively short. So we got out of one line, and then we went to another line. <laughs> the second so line was the longest line. thing of them all. We okay. went in line to, to go, go into another line to go into the next line what to actually pay for our damn tickets. And I swear to God, that line alone took longer than the drive here and the walk to the other side of the building. True. Holy shit! Like holy crap! We made convert like there was also props to that one dude that made a Spartan costume that was also a biking costume. A oh yeah, Spartan. Yeah, there was like a fucking Spartan armor with fur on the core and sick ass metal helms coming uh, horns coming out of the helmet. It was the sickest thing I saw. Holy shit! Until five minutes before I walked in the building. <sighs> brutal, brutal. Nice. But uh, yeah, when we after we got our passes, which was like a hundred dollars each, because they're fifty dollars for a Saturday pass. Oof. Yeah, they jacked it up five dollars more. Wait, okay, so it was fifty dollars per person. This has been a, a recurring, yeah. This has been one of the sadly recurring complaints ever since the con ended. Everybody was complaining about the price, and honestly, I could see it. Fifty bucks doesn't feel like it was worth one day. Now. Let Let's save the problems from the general public till after we Good tell point. our story. Yeah. Good point. Okay, so after we got our passes, we basically um, perused around the con. We went to the dealers' room. The dealers' room was massive. How was it? Like, tell me all the stuff that they had. Tell me what they had. Well, the for one, thing. well, I could say this much: Angel did not suffocate from the large capacity crowd. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because there was more space available, but it felt like there was less people in the con this time, or at least there was more Gee, space. To I move. wonder why. Maybe it's because you had to pay fifty dollars a head just for the right to enter. No, that's crazy. Stop making theories. Oh, in what are you talking about? Oh, that is crazy. that is a that's myth. Stupid. That is a myth. Like good government officials and rap music, it doesn't exist. Right. <laughs> Jesus. No, but seriously though, the, the, the dealer's room was an enormous atrium sized room with so think of every single dealer's room you've seen to every small con, pile them together and multiply that by five. Yeah. Let me put it this way, it was so big I actually achieved the one thing I never managed to do in every other con. What's that? I found what I was looking for. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously though, I walked through there with a copy of the sick ass stone mask from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And a copy of the rare to find PS2 beat em up game God Hand from Clover Studios. My arm, 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 my but yeah, we went around, we got what we were looking for, Angel got his mask in his game, I got, yeah! I got my boss coffee, yeah. we also got interviews in, we also um, uh, met and greet, uh, meeting and greeting, met or, and greet, met and greet, we, we grated them down until they were nothing but we, us, that's right. <laughs> 
We greeted some of the members from Nerd Ramen Network. They were like the Tampa Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they yes. were cool. Uh, Adam Graybeard and uh, what's the face? Uh, Chris Ragoza? No. Yeah. no, Chris, Chris, Chris isn't. There? Chris isn't part of the Ghostbusters. Oh, so okay. he was there, but he wasn't part of. The okay, but Adam Graybeard was. In, yeah, he's Actually, repping the Ghostbusters uh, fatigues over yeah. there. Yeah. Actually, Very... Chris was dead. He was a ghost just hanging around. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, dude, no, don't make those kind of jokes. But it's still too soon. We, also, miss, we miss you. We love you. <laughs> Ouch. We were going to run into uh, um, Tori from Pros and Cons, who we were told at the dealer's room, but it's hey, so Martin. big. Like, we ran into his friends from Creative Image Designs. Yeah, those guys were badass. Oh, yeah, no, I remember we uh, checked them out while we were doing the FAE show. Yeah. And they, um, they, they, greet, they, they greeted us. They thanked us for promoting them on our last episode. So, and yeah, they man. have a gigantic flipping table at. FAE. I can only imagine that that size table looks like a paltry little uh, lemonade stand compared to the size of the thing. Holy Not that shit. there was anything wrong with it. Okay, for the record, I'm trying to say <laughs> anyone trying to say that, oh, he's bashing the guy's work. No. Mm-hmm. I'm simply saying 1,000 dislikes. <laughs> yeah, no, jeez. You Continue. fucking troll to accounts. What no, what done? I'm fucking saying was that, what, what I was trying to make the point was that it, at FAE, they had a really long, like, quad stand freaking table for their uh, promotion and for their uh, merchandise at FAE, but if you take that and put it into comparison against Megacon, I can only imagine that their uh, that their single stand was like a lemonade stand in comparison with everything else because these guys have usually like the really really gigantic promotions probably rent like two or three or four giant sized you know spaces for bo- or for boots and shit, right? They had a fairly big space, but they were still pretty difficult to find. I dare say that we spent about, like, what, 70% of our day walking through the dealer's room? Pretty much. I Just mean, it, perusing the dealer's room. The dealer's room is bigger than the con floor. Dude, like, the, okay, imagine the big-ass building we went before. Okay, when we went to the previous Megacon, you remember the big... I've oh. never gone to a Megacon. This okay, shite. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Thanks for rubbing the salt in the wound, a-hole. My bad. Okay, let me take out all those copies of Splatoon from under your shirt. But how do I put this? Have you never been to that center uh, area before, ever? No. Okay, uh, when you ever get there... You will see it by comparison, but for you guys who ever been there before, yeah, like the 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 dealer's room took about eighty percent of the entire floor. Yep. Everything else was walking space and food stands. By the way, pretty good pizza. Pretty good pizza. I gotta say, was Makes it overpriced like in other cons? Were uh, I'll get, I'll no. get, yeah, I'll get to that. Um, so after we were done at the dealer's room, we were basically going around getting pictures. We got pictures from a group of Steve of Steven Universe cosplayers, yeah. Dragon Ball Z cosplayers, yeah. and of course, characters from Ruby. Yeah, it was a really, there was really, so much really about the Ruby, Ruby cosplay. There was, it so was much a fucking really, Ruby. really big turnout. It was like a goddamn jewelry store just exploded. Holy Rubies shit. everywhere. That was actually when we met. Um, so many Rubies, so many Yangs, yeah. so many. Oh, the Yangs. How many also, cinders? Did we get any cinders there? Yes, there was at least two cinders. How much you want to bet Jessica Negri dressed up as Cinder and just went there incognito? Oh, I'm pretty sure we would have recognized that. Oh, by the way, um, first off, before we continue, I like to say my props, even though we never spoke to that guy. The shaggy cosplayer that brought an actual Great Dane. Probably the biggest Holy dog i ever shit. seen in my life. Okay, okay, you mean Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He, yes. brought, a, he brought a Great Dane and he was a Scooby-Doo dude, tags? Let me put it this way. If you stand up, stand up. Okay. All right, that dog comes up to your stomach. Holy On all shit. fours. That dog is a They horse. can't see him standing okay, up. Okay, Juan is actually fairly tall. How tall are you, Juan? 5'11". Okay, that dog is about 3.5 feet off the ground. Holy shit! That that was a horse that small children could ride. Okay, yeah. you know the you know the animal that Thor was asking about when he said yeah. that he wanted a horse. We're like, we only sell dogs, cats, and and rabbits. That give me one of those large enough to ride. <laughs> that that was that's the what one. you would get. Also, I would like to extend my humble apologies to a particular cosplayer who was dressed like Chizuo from Durarara. Yeah. He was a cool dude, and we interviewed him. Unfortunately, the footage got corrupted, so we had to remove that. And for that, oh, Chizuo, shit. bro, wherever you are, we like to extend our sincerest apologies, and we hope that if we ever meet you in another con. We can interview you again, cause bro, Indeed. you were cool. Hey man, so this mistakes, what... mistakes happen. We le- we le- we learn by doing. It's and not that's a... what happened. So so you interviewed a dude dressed up as Shizuo from uh, Durarara and at the he... stop sign and everything. And and the footage on that got corrupted. Okay, well I guess we know who's not going to be showing again. So thanks for letting us know. Appreciate Sorry, bro. Anyhow, um, so as far as the Ruby turnout went, um, that was a we shit met Sapphire Day's cosplay. She yeah. was awesome. She was. In my opinion, the best Yang ever. She was a pretty... Honestly, yeah, she was the best... And she we, was the best Yang Does there. she look like she needed a hand, though? 
No, she had a situation. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, okay, you look. don't need to strong arm that pony to bean. It's okay. Just let it flow naturally. No. Well, after, I've already got my hands full with trolls and shit. Do you really want to add well, more to this? Well, She's the, going to break through this door and just punch everybody in the face now. Look, the part, or the thing, the thing about it is that the, that these uh, that these remarks go hand in hand. You, you've got to bring them oh. up. Juan, you keep this doing this shit. We're gonna no. keep you at arm's length for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm already at arm's length. I'm, I'm already a demon. Juan, are you handing us over to the public like pigs for slaughter? <laughs> Punished Yang. Punished Yang. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, and we also met cast members from uh, Anna Rage, who yeah. were there. Yep. Uh, yeah. I remember the first time we actually got to see any work from Anna Rage was in the uh dearly departed Chaotic Con in the very first Chaotic Con 2012. It was down at the Double Tree Hotel uh, in uh, the Double Tree Hilton Hotel across from Jefferson High School down here in Tampa. Mm-hmm. And they were leading an entire pack of con goers doing the Daniel Bryan yes chant up and down <laughs> the, uh, the entire building all weekend long. And oh. these guys are funny. They do lots of different skits. They love uh, anime, video games, uh, a little bit of wrestling too. That's where yes. the Daniel well, Bryan came from. Well, th- it's not a, it's not like they haven't been like dead since. They've still been putting out content on Facebook and YouTube. They've been just slow. Also, kind of reminds me of that we saw when we were eating. There was this long progression of Deadpool cosplayers just singing chimichangas over and over again. It was God fun, right? There were so what? many, I actually saw Ryan Reynolds in there, I think. But, but go ahead. Yeah, but going back to the Ruby topic, um, yeah, we were there, we took pictures, there was a lot of cosplayers, I'm actually very impressed with how many people showed up. Fucking Neptunes. And I actually took part in um, filming a short video clip by Anna Rage on YouTube, which is basically a reenactment from the scene of Season 3 of Ruby, where Yang got disqualified after punching Mercury in the knee. She broke Sasuke. Broke, he bro- yeah, she broke him in the fucking balls or whatever. No, Damn in the Yuri. knee. In the in knee. knee, okay, whatever. Yeah. He was a hunter just like you before he took a fisting to the knee. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good, wonderful experience, and I'm glad to have been a part of it. Me too. And then afterwards, we went over to the food court and ate Papa John's pizza like two hungry good Cubans. Okay, was the Papa John's at least... Like uh, I was trying to ask if it was like overpriced or nah, if any of that shit. was it? No, no it seemed reasonable it, pricing it. for two mediums, two mediums and two glasses of coke. Yeah, honestly, no. Food surprisingly was the one thing that apparently wasn't overpriced in there. Indeed. Really? Okay, that's a relief. You know, usually we have those 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 complaints at other cons over here that Oof. if they've got a food bar or if don't worry, we're around. getting there. Well, we're to be getting... fair, though, okay. that to be fair, <laughs> that food place was already there, which means those prices were set in stone. They weren't going to raise it just because the con was going to show up. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, they were good. they were run by the convention center, not by the con. Yeah. Right. Now, but, again, we're we're going to get to a bunch of stuff that the convention centers actually getting into but we'll let you continue after we ate we then took part in the um owari no sir photo shoot hosted by damas cosplay there was a huge short, fucking koi fish damas we lake. love you yes you're loved after, your flock family loves you and then yeah. after we were done we basically just called it a day and went home we were like done around like five o'clock yeah i deeply regret we never got to meet uh well we got to meet a lot of new faces you know what i deeply regret that we could have stayed until night time <laughs> me too see, well, was... i also deeply regret we never got to see jason david frank he was there today Jason David Frank. And the Kevin Green Conroy. The Green Goddamn Ranger. Kevin Conroy. My also, I God. think Stan Lee was there, too. Oh, he's always yes. there. Yes. Because, the, hell yeah, Stan Lee. Hell yes. Yeah. The, the Generalissimo himself, Stan Lee, was there. Uh, the one thing that... Uh, he was, was making a cameo. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now, he made a cameo. At the overall, con. our Saturday experience at MegaCon was more than satisfactory. It was pleasant, I it won't was, lie. I mean, it was good. I still felt a little high-strung with those 50 bucks, but aside from that particular problem and something we'll mention later... I had a good time. I kind of wish I could have stayed longer too. Yeah, but hey, Same duty here. called. Like the one thing that the one thing that I would have said is if if I if I was able to go there with you guys, mm-hmm. and uh, in like considering the the family situation that I had that I couldn't avoid, um, what I would have had us do is that we would have had a little bit extra cash. We would have probably crashed in somebody else's room for that night because that night there was going to be a panel being hosted. By Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Jay and Aww. Silent Bob Mewes. Damn it. it was, Sorry, dudes. We're big fans. And apparently Jason Mewes was just walking around the con. And there's like from uh, from someone else reporting in there on Facebook. <laughs> he was just fucking walking around like nobody's business. No con liaison escort. No security. He was just like, dude. Can you get like a fucking pizza or something, man? To be fair, though, he, he looks, around like nobody. He looks nondescript enough that you could just confuse him for a normal person. <laughs> Jesus. See, that's exactly he it. He blends in pretty well when he wants to. He does. Well, yeah, of course. 
Like uh, Kevin Smith, unfortunately, uh, you can't hide Kevin Smith. He's iconic. You know, I, I, like he's Kevin fucking he stands Smith. out on his own. You know, like it, the, the, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, the, what what do you think it is? Like the, the, that that separates the, the two of them, just like in terms of like, it's uh, the same like, thing that makes the them fact have good that um, Kevin yeah. Smith is more involved in the media and entertainment stuff in terms of like other movies and whatnot, other projects than Jason Mewes is most likely. Also, the fact that that's the same thing that makes them work so well. You know, the straight man and the white guy. Oh, yeah, no, that works, that works perfectly. Separate, you can notice one, but the other one will just sort of blend into the background until he wants to show up. <laughs> Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, now uh, that we're done, I think we well, should probably get into... To, yeah, no, there's a lot mm. of salt. We, Everybody, I think okay, it's a good idea we're that we... Whip, to, we're, about to put, we're about to put Norton's iodized salt mills and factories all over the country. Warning, those of you with high sodium content in your blood might want to stop listening to this video right now. We're about to put them out of business here with this. I think it's... Okay, drop the I think it's a us. smart idea. Think, first off, I think it's a smart idea that we waited until now on the 13th. So, you know, we wait this long for, like, everyone to get their salt out of their chest. Dude, when I walk Because out- after Megacon, it has been nothing... But complains and salt and a lot of heat. The moment the I week. opened my Facebook page, it looked like the flats of Bolivia. The saltiest like, place on earth. It looks like Tumblr invaded Facebook. Oh, Christ. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, smart move. We waited you until should, now. And you people should see the face Angel's giving me. If anyone's seen uh, any profile photos of Angel Mendes over here, is the are you fucking serious face. His eyes are <laughs> scowling me. He took off his glasses just so he could emphasize how much he's scowling. All right, well. He hasn't shaved in a couple days. You could tell he's pretty pissed off. There's a vein popping in his face. All right, enough of that. Let's Actually, uh, I did that. shave like an hour ago, but I just grew facial hair out of sheer anger right now. Right. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, so let's right. start with the first problem that everyone's already addressed. Shit's expensive. Shit's expensive. Now, it's not just the pricing alone, but... 24 hours before the con weekend started, which the con started on Thursday because it's a four-day con weekend. Mm -hmm. 24 hours before the con started, um, the guys who ran MegaCon announced that lobby conning around the Orange County Convention Center was restricted. It wasn't taken away. It was restricted. Restricted to what? What you can't... The artist style Okay, Okay, number one, how how is it if it's restricted, then why did they funnel everybody into one door? Then why did they not allow anyone entering the building without a ticket? Before That's heading not... into before heading into MegaCon, I actually took a look at their map, and they actually marked in the color areas where you're free to roam around without a pass. Okay, so they did allow lobby conning inside the convention building. But only yes. in the authorized areas, you know, like a smoking zone. That's why I said restricted. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's not... That's... I or guess or limited than... if you want limited restricted. I limited. wonder if there was a limited. sign somewhere that just says no cosplay at all in this area. Please move to the designated cosplay areas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm and to... here's another thing uh, in terms of the pricing. Um, I read this from a post on Facebook, one of my uh, cosplaying friends, that apparently he had to pay the full price of a hundred dollars for the four day weekend, even though he was only going for three days. What the fuck? What? Shouldn't it be like more reasonable to go a hundred dollars for four days, seventy five for three days? You know, like break it down in quarters so it's nice and even. Yeah, but they didn't do that. Yeah, but that would be logical. Who wants that? No, we want more money. Shut up. <laughs> um, Pretty much. Okay. Apparently, there was also some sort of a, a thing involving uh, props and weapons check. Tell me about it. Oh lord! This is the one thing that I honestly don't get because I only saw one checkpoint, and that was it. Like. Hey, show me your prop to see if it's dangerous. It I isn't. wasn't okay, entirely go. sure because me and Angel, we didn't like pay attention too much to the weapons check. We saw it happening, but I've read online that apparently, like, um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. But yeah, people who were attending at the conventions in cosplay with their props, they were getting their weapons checked, and uh, a lot of them were having their weapons confisc- confiscated. Oh. Like, actually confiscated. Like, like you're not allowed to walk the fucking floor, period, with this thing on. Like, Pretty much. Serious? Oh, they didn't saw Pretty that much, happen. even that though I saw, like, we, me and Angel, we saw cosplayers in the dealer's room who were walking around with weapons and props. Saw plenty of props. And I only saw one checkpoint, so maybe we missed the one where the shit went down. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Okay, so now... Got... Also, if I may throw a small compliment to whoever the hell maintains the gardens in the convention center, holy shit, dude, that place is beautiful. It is. It is very beautiful. 
Can I throw can I throw my a comment out there? Go ahead. I want to give props out to this one security guy that we saw while we were getting our ticket. Yeah. Who calls himself Mr. Black. Dude. He was this tall, what? massive black dude in a black suit with black shades. What was he saying? Like he was basically <laughs> directing he was basically <laughs> directing traffic to everyone going into this line for registration. And he said, just listen to the uh, listen to the black uh, listen no, to No, listen Mr. to the man in black. Listen to the man in black. He knows what's he knows what to do. And I'm and as I walk past him, I'm like Oh, well, thank you, man in black. And he's like, you're welcome. Don't erase my memory. I won't. Just keep going. <laughs> Just keep on walking. Whoever that security okay, so ward goes, thanks, he's man. You, you the went broad, one, sir. He's the one security slash staff member in the entire convention center that was good to us. Because apparently, as I was reading the salt that was happening uh, uh, on the week after Megacon, everyone's complaining about the staff and security of the convention center harassing the attendees. But nobody said anything about the man in black. You know why? Because mm. they forgot. Oh, now please Tommy look Jones into the light. Now, there. when I say harass, well, now when I say harass, let me elaborate. Um, I've read a post that apparently, like <laughs> attendees in cosplay who were walking around, they were constantly being hawked by the security and staff, making sure that you have your wristband on you at all times. Okay, like okay, so were were the like con attend like the, well, the con security and the con volunteer people. That were they like going out of their way to search for people and like, hey, you stop right there, you got a badge? Or, or was um, it like. When we and Angel were there, we didn't notice any of that. Not in particular. Okay, so it wasn't like now, mind you, we psychotic were, out of your fucking mind. We were there on Saturday, right? Yes. Okay, then yeah. And, the, the and we have, did walk around the main convention floor outside of the dealers. Room, so, so the con had been going on for like, what, two, three days already? No, it's Thursday, so that's day three. Huh. No, wait, wait, what? No, I when we to... were there. We were there Saturday, so the third day, yes. Yeah, that's what I said. So, honestly, we didn't saw it. I'm guessing that either the security guards eased off by that time, or maybe this was a problem that happened early on Friday. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because I would imagine, um, and this has been a big rule of thumb for uh, uh, new four-day cons emerging, that Thursdays almost nothing happens, because almost nobody's there for fucking Thursdays. Uh, it, and you know, then Friday comes in, and that's when a lot of the stuff starts rolling out, like the events and all that other good jazz. Indeed, the, that's one thing that we got to address, folks. If you're going to start, a, uh, if you're going to expand your convention to a four-day con, make the first day something big, something fun, something huge, something actually like memorable and shit. Like I don't know, get um, I don't know, hire fucking uh, <laughs> Sean White to to jump off his motorcycle. And on a, and jump onto a ski board and slide down with pyrotechnics being which played, then explodes which, be, which are being played by freaking Aerosmith I don't no, know hang on a minute hang then on a minute Aerosmith also guys explodes. guys hang on it's not over yet there's more tell me there's more another thing and this is a revelation to me and Angel recently yeah they took away the video game room and the tournament room and I'm just sitting here going what <laughs> why would you what? do that fuck they and have... I was wondering, because I figured, you know what, maybe, because, okay, we didn't saw it, so I figured, maybe we were in the wrong building. Maybe they secluded to a little place over here. No, there was just no video game Just room. no video gaming, no nothing. Not at all. Nope. You're fucking kidding. No, that's it. No Honestly, video gaming, no children. tournament rooms Why for any, like, that? tabletop games. Do we know I what found, happened? I Do found one uh, in the one dealer, just one, selling video games in the dealer's room. That's where I got my copy. Selling of video games, but no actual video game. No room. actual tournament no room, No tabletop nothing. tournaments, nothing. Nothing that I okay, saw, dude. Okay, well, see, there we go. There is one thing that you can do for Thursdays. Make Thursdays video game day. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. Or just not take away the rooms at all. What did they even put in their place? <laughs> More dealer rooms. More dealers. That's Maybe. What, what the shite? Oh, God. So, it's, basically, we've covered the pricing, the security, the the video game and tournament room, and lack thereof. What was another problem? That, oh, basically, making the attendees walk an extra mile just to get there. Yeah, no, that Jesus was a thing. Yeah. Into Christ, Which makes me wonder why, why is that? Were they reserving the central building that for something apparently, else? Apparently, supposedly, um, that is something that was done by order of the Orange County Convention Center. That they wanted to uh, funnel the uh, doorways, the actual accessible areas for the convention, uh, for security reasons. I guess I don't fucking no idea. Like you know, what? I just want to blame Trump on all this. I'm just going to say that. Trump, this is somehow your fault. This is all somehow your fault. it's Trump's just, fault. Even if you don't become the president, this is somehow your fault. When you don't become the when, president. Yeah. No. If, but, when, how. Yeah. Okay, um, no, like, that's basically how? all the all this shit that we that I've read online says so far as we know. No, like the, the that those are the general concerns. Yeah, the logic on this should be if... Okay. Um, okay, I need you to answer me something. Uh, for the Orange County Convention Center, 
the the parking areas around it does it encompass all around the entire building or is it just on one area and that uh entrance that they're talking about is just on the opposite side of that lot i think it's on the front of the building only because i don't know what's behind the conversion center maybe probably all right. because... we tried to park in a chocolate factory and we couldn't even do that wait there's a chocolate factory there apparently there is like a chocolate shop like like Half a block away from it, right next to an inn. Dude, I hang know. on a minute, hang on a minute. Guys. I would have, I'm reading. I would have hiked up all the way there just for the fucking chocolate shop. Forget the con. We're gonna stay in this building instead <laughs> for three reading, days. I'm reading a complaint that I've have saved on my phone right now. It's from a cosplayer. I'm not gonna name a name, but basically he said, and I quote: "Security was a pain at times. Random doors to the outside that you weren't supposed to go out, uh, areas that were open and empty, but we couldn't hang out or take photos at." And, you know, with no explanation and no signage saying that it was Sign- off limits. Signage. Signage. There was a lot of open, empty space that was unutilized. Also, some security was a lot more strict than others. Like, I had a group of friends kicked out of an area while they were taking pictures, only to come back later and see another group doing the exact same thing. Man. Okay, so, okay, so selective security, or rather, not very... Attentive security. Sounds to me like the communication between management and the security guards about what is supposed to be done seems to be appears to be a little iffy. Iffy? No, iffy is fine. Iffy comes before J, and that's Jiffy, and I like Jiffy. You know, <laughs> yeah, another you know, cosplayer Jeff. basically, yeah, basically said the same thing. Miffed, secu- miffed by security, they were told they were loitering. Either buy a pass or leave the or leave the con. Damn. Wow, are you fucking, fucking lame <laughs> putting down the foot of the law? Okay, pretty no, much. D- Shit. But but they had designated um, lobby conning areas. How can you tell them to get out if they're in a? De- was was that in a designated area? Yes or no? Um, it it didn't. It, they didn't specify. Okay, they, I I think like some of the security was not aware. I, like I said, there was problem with the management and security. Like I think some of the security didn't knew. What were the, were the designated areas the area were, or they were wrong? Cause God Almighty! This complaint has been popping up a lot every time I go to social media. People are getting kicked out of places where other people are getting admitted five minutes later. Five minutes by five different later, security. By different security. Because yeah, I, I think there was like communication problem there, and security had no idea. Okay, is this area allowed or not? Fuck it, I'm just guessing. You've got to be fucking kidding, me. guys. Now here's another. Talk to your people. Now here's Why was there no game room? Got, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, guys. Here's another lost complaint from another cosplayer. She said, and I quote, the Haley Atwell photo op lines were more of a mosh pit and ended up running an hour late. Holy shit. Um, not claustrophobic, but needed to be away from, yeah. Agent Carter rolls hard. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine Haley Atwell dealing with so many people in she a mosh pit? She pulls out a gun. No, she'll, then she'll she walk, no longer has to deal no, with she'll, anything. No, she'll, uh, she'll walk out with, with, with the, with the I can imagine she would walk out with uh, the Kanye's on. All right, so I'm going to need to uh, go to this, uh, sh- uh, to this, uh, um, Autograph bit for about uh, two hours or so. Is it two, three hours? It's two hours. Was that one? Okay, two hours. And uh, I think I want to go to lunch. What's a good lunch place? Oh, we'll find a place for you, miss. All right, I'm just going to turn around. Holy shit! And then she just pulls out a gun. And then Chris Evans breaks through the window and punches everybody in the face. <laughs> I would imagine- Roll credits! No, I, I, I would imagine she probably wouldn't have been allowed to. But how much you want to bet that if she did have any sort of control, she just, like, she would give, like, a freaking giant whistle. Hey, everyone listen up. I'm she, really glad that you're here, but you all need to straighten up, get in line in an evening fashion. I will get to every single last one of you. Yes, I would, no, that, I would obey her with that question. Haley Atwell, we love you. We miss Agent Carter. We're going to look forward to your show on We're sorry ABC. you're dead. Now, here's another We're one. We're sorry you're dying. Here's another one. Alzheimer's is a terrible thing. Guys, oh. guys, this one is not a complaint, actually. I'll let you guys be the judge. It's from a cosplayer. Shoot. Basically, she said, I had a lot of fun. I bought a weekend pass with my coworkers and spent most of my time in the vendor's room. I think they had a lot of great variety in there for shopping. Security was a bit rude, but one lady from security apologized afterward and said she really didn't want to be short with me, but her higher-up was around telling her she had to hustle people out of the way. See? Ah, uh, so it is the man. The higher-ups are doing dumb not, shit, and the yeah. security is the middleman dealing with all the crap from both sides now. Yeah. And I know this because I do customer service. Holy I know shit. what it's like to be the middleman. Holy yeah. shit. She said she would definitely go back uh, next year only for like one day because it was way too much money spent over there. And you know what? Hey. I agree with her. Given the state of things with the convention, with MegaCon now, uh, going there for only like one day or two would probably be best to save some bu- to save some money. So it you don't could break help. Bank. And oh yeah, speaking of saving money, do look forward to our next Raven's Flock episode. We'll be talking exactly about that little issue that seems to be holding down the con for a while now. We won't say anything more, but uh, we hope that you will enjoy it as well. So, 
Aside from that, so the main problems that I'm seeing here is the price was too much, which I understand. Security the security labels. was all over the goddamn place because okay. of communication errors. Yep. Yeah. But the and you know what? Even all that I could ignore. But why did they took away the game? Board? I can't get over that shit. <laughs> oh my god! You can tell where Angel's mind is. Hey man, I like my things, and somebody took away my things. So now I don't feel very happy that the place where I went to to get things did not have the things that I wanted. Base. <laughs> and uh, even Damus, Damus actually critiqued the con uh, themselves and basically said, "Hey, they had a good time with friends and whatnot. If, will they go back next year? Probably not." Um, uh, basically, rated the con overall experience a four point five out of ten. Eh, I'm a little more positive. I feel more like a seven out of ten kind of guy. That's not bad. That's good not could bad. have been better. Eh. That's my that's my overall like thought in the whole thing. Basically, so basically, the overall comments that I've read was is that it was overpriced. It was a bit underwhelming. Uh, the security guys were basically hawks. But apparently unwilling hawks. Like, unwilling hawks. Like their boss tell, uh, pretty much told them to, hey, you need to tell these people to bypass, get out. Pretty much. Essentially, when you got your manager... Build a wall around cosplay as a case. For those of you cosplayers that are mad at security, please understand, these guys are genuinely... It's not that they hate you, but they probably think you're fucking weird. They're just trying to do their job and get paid. And when you... you for those of you cosplayers that have a job... You know who you are. When you got your fucking manager breathing down your neck, screaming thinly bail threats at you, you gotta pick a side. You I'm know not, what you're gonna okay, do. Okay, here's the so thing. So please, put yourself in the shoes for five minutes. This is the shit they gotta deal with. They gotta deal with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the thing. It's not that I hate you at all. As a matter of fact, I kind of like you. But I just say, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm gonna fire your ass <laughs> if you don't do exactly what I tell you and be really <laughs> dickish to these people in costumes. <laughs> But I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you if you're not extremely dickish to these people in costumes. Oh my god. Right, you're doing a good job. You're part of the team. Yeah. But sir, there's too many people. How part can of the I team. Be, how can I be that much I of a dick? you're part of the team, motherfucker. You're committed. Okay, I, believe, I guess I'll be a dick. And then dicks happened. Pretty and much. Then dicks happened. So please now, do understand, this is merely management infused main dickery. So, okay, management security aside, um, Megacon did shoot themselves in the foot this year by a couple things. Like, number one, first off, Announcing the restricting of lobby conning very late, like twenty four hours. Uh, yeah. twenty four hours. Do you feel that that's too short of a notice? Definitely. Yeah. It's not that they announced it. It's that they announced it literally one day before shit got real. Exactly. That's like saying, okay, everybody, get ready for the race. You got your cars ready? Oh, by the way, uh, five minutes before it starts, we only accept diesel fuel. Exactly. Wait, what? Exactly. Have fun. Like the attendees who go to MegaCon, they've already invested enough money in booking hotels for the weekend and paying for this uh, for the cosplays, this and that. And I, I can I can understand some of them wanting not to pay a pass, just go over there and just meet friends and whatnot, and that's fine and all. But damn, damn indeed, <laughs> damn but, indeed. Yeah. Look at the price At least they didn't banish the whole thing until next year when they inevitably do. Yeah, no. the The problem is that now that the folks see that this is actually the new normal for MegaCon because it, it wasn't like this last year, was it? No, last year it was nearly suffocating with the amount of people that were running around. Don't you mean no. the year before? Because we weren't there last year. No, see, I suffocated so hard I lost an entire year of my life. Jesus Christ. Anyway. I don't know what happened before I walked through this door. Anyways, but, um, compared to two years ago where me and Angel went to make a con, there was, there was no problem with lobbying. And this year, they basically limited uh, lobbying. They didn't take it away, they limited it. Maybe that's the reason they did it. Maybe like, the previous year there was just so many people. And they were spread out so thin, they, they simply could not manage that amount of, like, that pile of... Looking at it from their perspective, the people who run the con, the people who run Megacon, they basically have to spend so much money to get the guests down here. They basically have to spend money to rent out the venue. And they probably ha- also have to uh, cover for any damages that's done in the convention center. Now, imagine trying to manage that with twice the amount of people. Like, now, I, I think I see the point that you're trying to get to here, because it's a matter of convention security it's a matter of of uh maintaining cost effectiveness and stuff and while i can understand that and i can uh, i can appreciate that because the last thing i want is for a bunch of hooligans running around a convention that i'm running and smashing up the goddamn place and saying oh we're just attendees we're having a good time and okay if you're attendees where's your badge oh i didn't buy a badge then you're trespassing get the fuck out yeah you yeah. can't they, then I, I can totally understand that kind of shit um but throwing that up at the last minute, that, no, was, no, that not, was not a smart idea. That's not smart business. That's it was the smart. timing of the and the execution. Of the action was the no timing, wrong. Execution. The timing was garbage. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Um, Here's so, another thing they shot themselves with foot in. 
bring back the video game in uh, tournament. Oh my god, you too. Hey, dude. Guys, I kept thinking on. that something was missing when we left. And every convention, in every convention that you go to, Juancho, the video game rooms and the tournament rooms are basically staples a, to look yeah. for. Well, yeah, of course, but like, come on, guys. Like, I get it. This they did that. It, it wasn't there next this year. Maybe they'll bring it back next year when they get their heads out their asses. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe we don't know. Big fat maybe. Um, and uh, honestly, so, that's the only thing that I can see where MegaCon made their mistakes as far as security goes. I think we've already rationalized so it. So, what yeah. can we put this all on? Like, uh, uh, like we got Angel's review. What What did you rate it here? Um, like out of ten. Hang on, hang on. He rated it a seven out of ten. I guess my rating would have to be the same. I had a very good experience. I met a lot of people. I met Anna Rage. I met Sapphire Days cosplay. I got a lot of pictures in. Some good interviews. The dealers room was great. So, yeah, 7 out of 10. Could have, was good. Could have been better. Good. It could have been better. Maybe because we only went for Saturday and we didn't stay for the whole weekend. Maybe yeah, our maybe. opinions may have changed. Yeah, better it may or have been worse. higher or lower. I don't know, though. I don't know, dude. If I met Jason David Frank, I'd be like, 10 out of 10. Don't give a shit about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, true. I shook hands with the Green Ranger. I don't I need to do anything else. I shook hands with the like. motherfucking Green Ranger. If I met Stan Lee, I'd be like, best call in the world. I'm out. Ah, uh, but then you'll probably get stiffed by security guys and be like, no, 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 sir, sir, sir. You didn't pay to meet this guy. You gotta go back in the line. Well, that's when I turn into a Power Ranger and I hench in my way through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Gentlemen, I'm afraid you don't understand. I did pay. I have my receipt. And I waited in line. And I bought this uh, this uh, th- uh, this still mid condition uh, package of, f- of 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 Marvel comics that I just bought from across the fucking floor for the sole purpose of having it autographed by Mister Stan Lee. Now, we could be uh, we can either be civil about this, or we could not. The choice is yours, but I'm afraid you must be careful. You would not like me when I'm hungry, hombre. Oh, <laughs> nah, but seriously though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> overall, though, our experience, our, our humble limited experience our was humble seven experience, out of ten. Yeah, our humble experience was seven out of ten. It was good. It, it could have been better if we'd have stayed there for the whole weekend. Our opinions may have uh, may have changed for better or worse. Notice that some of the worst complaints come from people who bought the weekend pass. So hey, relation there, so perhaps that might have something to do with it. That might have something. But yeah, no, the no. overall the overall opinion from everyone else, from the majority of people who went to Mega. Is basically that it's underwhelming and it's too fucking expensive. Alright, so yeah, I guess that settles that. Well, unfortunately, I can't have a proper opinion about MegaCon because I didn't fucking get to go again. No this fun year. allowed. I'm apparently not allowed to have fun for Christ's sake. No, fun, never. But I will say this much I am going to move heaven and earth to try and make it there next year because I want to see what all the hoopla is about. I want to see what the dealio yo is. Is <laughs> all right. But, my pants are getting you, baggier just by hearing yeah, that. Truth, uh, yeah, no, I just true. kicked it in mid '90s style for you. What up? Yeah. But the one thing I gotta say is, okay, after all this stuff about reports of mismanagement and security, about um, about possible harassment of uh, attendees and cosplayers, uh, disorganization of, uh, of 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 panels, of uh, uh, autograph signings, and uh, photo the, ops, and, and even for for photo ops and stuff, what can we is there something that we can pinpoint this down on? Is there something that we can actually Honestly, say, hey, this is one major factor, if not the source of this whole situation? What can we say? I think it all just comes down to just basically overall poor planning, if you think about it. Yeah. And not everything was on schedule. The limitation of lobby conning was announced late. So Last minute changes are never good. So for poor planning, poor execution. Poor I, all right, so we've so that's how we're figuring it out. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to throw if you want to throw security in there in, into the mix, the only thing I can say is that hey, look, they're just doing their jobs. But of I course. mean, could they could they have been a little bit more lax in in, in their job? Maybe well, not. If you want to get well, fired, you don't. Well, not lax, but more, more as in you're probably accepted. thinking that you don't want them to be nearly as dickish about their jobs. Like that we're we're here to we're here to make sure, keep the peace at a at a convention, we're not trying to, you know, corral the freaking million man march or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, where people to the concentration will... cosplay camps. God, with you. dude, no. Now Jesus. about the <laughs> now about the areas that this one dude mentioned, the areas that are unutilized by the convention center. I don't think I see any problem with uh, cosplayers wanting to use those free areas if only just to take pictures. If exactly, only they could because... keep an. If only they could actually settle their minds in what exactly is the free area and what is the restricted area. Exactly. No, see, like, that's like, said, like there's man. no like there's no notification. There's no, like no sign saying, "Hey, this area is off limits. This area is off limits." No. So well, we have security guards. I don't know like what that. the hell they're doing. 
Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, is, and isn't it coincidence because it was just last year, after last year's MegaCon, that the ownership of this joint was changed over to a different company, am I right? Yes. Canada. Canada. Basically the guys who run uh, Fanboy Expo. The company, so, the company of Canada, from the city of Canada, in the country of Canada, in the state of Canada, in the continent of Canada. So, okay. No, so let's, let's just blame Canada, like that South Park song. Fucking hell, dude. Damn it. <laughs> Mother fuck. We have no. to blame them before they blame us. That's how the war got started. That's how the war got started. <laughs> the war. Watch out, they're going to bomb the Baldwins now. Oh, Lord. With what? Syrup? Oh, God. Actually, yes. Explosive syrup. You'd oh, no. Look out. They will kill me with their perfect politeness. Actually... That's the problem. You don't want to scare the polite ones. They will murder the fuck out of them. No, you know Canadians also go on YouTube, right, guys? Well, guess what? Okay. 1,000 Canadian the, likes follow by 1,000 apologies. Here's the thing. Here's, <laughs> here's the fucking thing, guys. We, we, get, we, we get our shows banned in Germany. Okay, yeah. we hit episodes banned in Japan. If we get yeah, yeah, yeah. banned in Canada, I'll be nothing short of surprised. Well, to be fair, though, he's not going to know. We're going to get banned. Then we're going to get on ban, followed by a very profuse and polite apology. Then we're going to get banned again. Probably, yeah. But by the I, way, no, um, the don't, do not take this as an assumption that I hate Canada. I actually rather like Canada. Some of my favorite people, called Matt, Pat, Wooly, and Liam, come from Canada. I never met them, but they seem like cool dudes. <laughs> Fucking wow. Wow, well, okay. they're cool. But basically, back to MegaCon. Um, if there's any advice, if there's any two cents that I can throw in there for everyone else, um, don't give up on MegaCon. If you want to go back next, uh, if you want to go back next year, go back next year. And if you want to save whatever pennies you have so you don't have to spend so much money, then I would suggest going there for a day, if not for at least two days. Okay? okay so limit your experience. You plan and I budget hate it saying, a little better. I hate saying limit the experience, the but sport. considering how much people have bitched for spending so much money, I think going and there. And not getting your money's worth out of it. And not getting your money's worth out of it. I think going there for like a day or two would help. Yeah, two days would be enough. If only the price for one day wasn't so ridiculous to ratchet it up, I would only say one day. But for the sake of actually getting more bang for your buck, I say two days seems to be a more appropriate time frame. Right. Yeah. yeah uh, that, that I'm makes probably going to shoot myself in the foot for saying this, but I know people keep saying that they're not going to go, but let's be honest. We'll see you next year. We'll see, see you next, next year. year. They're going to go. Hell. It's just like... You're, it's just like you, you see this bad universe. Resident Evil movie that's coming out. You don't want to watch it, but you're going to end up watching it anyway. Yeah, like, it's like, this movie is complete garbage. Why is Mila Jovovich still getting job? Why am I sitting on the theater right now? Oh, why Jesus. am I eating the popcorn? Why Holy am I crap. cheering Mila Jovovich? Fuck, I just finished the movie. Pretty much. Don't you hate that mentality? Like, you say you're not going to do this, but then you end up doing it. I fucking hate way. this. I'm going to do it. That's because most nerds hate themselves so much they have to be contrarian to somebody, even to themselves. Oh! <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure the reason why the security guards hated them so much is because... Seeing so many people in cosplay trigger the high school effect where you look at them and you just go, fucking nerds. Fucking nerds. Oh my god. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> like, like I wish there was a locker here so I could slam you into it. Like the awesome guy, the man in black or whatever? No, he was the cool dude. He was, he was, he was, the, old, he was the cool dude step, standing up for the nerds. He was that one football player that would never make fun of you. Thank you, man in black. You were the coolest motherfucker in there. No, but but his, his partner, the jackass with the freaking SWAT team uh, guard... <laughs> Was there anybody in the SWAT team guard? Thankfully, no. No, Nothing regretfully, there was no SWAT team. No you SWAT know, team guard? Because if there were, probably they would have been confused by cosplayers, too. Yeah, true. You're probably right. Yeah. All right. But, um, honestly, I think that's it. That's yeah, overall, got. 7 out of 10. Could have been better. Let's hope it gets better. Yeah. Let's. We can only hope. I mean, like, I, I guess uh, the fit way we see at Fanboy Expo, uh, that's uh, the guy's names or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. They, they have another year to figure it out and try to get make heads and tails out of... Uh, out of MegaCon, because if they bought it and they own it now, then they're going to need to figure out how to properly manage actually, it. Yeah, well, actually, another nugget of information I want to throw in there about the last minute um, limitations on the lobby. Apparently, the guys who run the convention center forced the people who run MegaCon to put those limitations. All so, right, yeah. And they, and again, that's another thing of let's fucking do this early and get this in and out of the way. That way, our attendees can fucking know and. Uh, know the shit ahead of time yeah so I everything mean, is true. not so so everything that's happened at the uh, at the weekend it's was not, it's not entirely the pinned at fault. the con owner it's also pinned at the co at people who run the convention what is that center. called again something razor never blame on malice what can be attributed to stupidity i don't remember it's something's not, razor it's um, occam's razor no occam's razor is um all things being equal the uh simplest uh explanation tends to be the correct one yeah this is the one too do not attribute to malice what can be easily attributed to mistakes and stupidity for what we see here, management has some serious communication bullshit going on with security, 
Security has some severely repressed memories of high school. There was some lack of communication on all parties here that should have been addressed. And like I said, timing. Don't announce this crap 24 hours before it's about to change. Yeah. That is that is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and let us be thankful that it didn't so demonstrated. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so, guys. Um, I, guess that, I, I guess that wraps it up over here. Uh, any parting words about the con? Anything else you guys want to say about it? Um... None that we've already, none that I've already covered. Angel. I got a few. Um, I like to give my thanks to every cosplayer that we interview there. Thank you for giving us the time of day. Thank you for not humping my leg. Thank you once again, Sapphire Days cosplay and the cast of Anirage for letting me be part of your uh, collaboration for helping. And it was an honor meeting you. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Also, right. thanks to the Chinese uh, chop guy for selling Boss Coffee. Yeah, that boss coffee. That All coffee right. was You guys balls. need to get, get, get me some of that. You're going to get it's me really some of that. We're going to hook you up with a cat. It's really good. Hook me up. I need it. I've got massive caffeine to It's like drinking Bruce Lee's concentrated extract. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. You will one inch punch all your You will enter the dragon. <laughs> you will pu- uh, one inch punch all your tiredness away forever. Nice. Yep. All right. I'm looking forward to that, definitely. Well, I guess that wraps right. us up for this episode of The Black Files. Uh, be sure to continue subscribing on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, we're going to continue expanding our uh, our coverage on different uh, conventions, different uh, movies and stuff that we're going to be reviewing. Uh, and be sure to keep your eyes open for our next episode of The Raven's Lock, where we will be covering uh, con finances. Drunk, sex, and rock and roll. And we're even going to have interviews from MegaCon uh, th- on this particular, particular topic. Uh, so thanks again for listening. This has been the Black Files. We are the Ravens Flock, and we are out. Deuces. Nice. <laughs>